Hello and welcome back to Cut Buds with Narf. You were about to say Galen, weren't you? Well, we can never know. We can never know. Um, the, the important thing is that I didn't. <laughs> so this is true. Yeah. Um. So we're we're in turbo way. mode. Turbo. <laughs> Activate turbo. But I can't. Slightly faster, Krabby Patty. Um. So we're halfway towards Red Rock in. Well. Uh. The, the underground. The Ooh. Oh. Uh. Jump. We might frog. Yeah. Well. You can't frog while you're in water you can but it only allows you to jump one square uh, so uh i took that first step because i wanted to land out of the water can't remember isn't there something that lets you jump more than one square wings oh. let you jump more than one square no way wings yep even underground yep they uh. also let you charge more than the standard charge distance J wings have such like unexpected benefits that are they are amazing they are probably one of the best mutations in the game and this comes from from someone who abuses horns on a daily basis <laughs> um they're also great for because you can just activate wings and fly out of any overworld site like talk about like ultimate escape potential yeah you can just go up to the world map and rest until healed and then come back down i didn't realize you could rest on the overworld map yeah i that i've learned a thing if you can't you just take a step and then go down and rest someplace else right uh we don't have the skill points for charge which was i was gonna see if we could start charging yeah that makes sense you can't charge as a rhino we are truly lost right now so not yeah that's our next goal i think charging you got been getting a lot of electrofugues yeah luckily that one didn't get to zap me we hit him first one of the things about the double muscle is it gives you a stun chance also it gives you a daze chance right already level 10 you got to te level 10 and you're not even at red rock yet lord well that's why i always come through this cave it's just bunches of free xp I think those are seeds. Yeah, can't. There was, can't. It's more like a cantable. <laughs> oh, that that kind of jump scared me coming through that corner, getting stabbed like that. Was there a uh, ivory? No, that was a uh, uh, centipede. You're really tearing through the crabs. They, like we're already. You've got you got like the pen to to just rip up a, the high AV. Uh, yeah. I mean, plus two strength. It's not that great, but it's enough to get through their AV. Sounds of violence. Yeah, there's a lot of that. Uh, basically throughout the entirety of Code. Uh, yep, you've got like I a really very haven't been crack. Yeah, there have been a lot of monsters in here. Usually they end up killing themselves before you can get to them. It's one of the reasons why. Like that, right? Right. I'm surprised we haven't run into the snap jaw with a grenade yet. Like, that snap jaw. Well, you, you have like eight or nine unidentified artifacts. <laughs> True. So you, if I've, you did, I have pro probably the bones of a couple of snap jaws with grenades. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, gloves. Why did that do that to me? Oh, those are nice too. Yeah, it's decent. It's better than my smock, just because they're zero weight. A DV fifteen. That's kind of insane. So the thing I never know how to do with DV is to how to how to keep it like high in the mid to late game i don't think you need to no no because like not much gives you like plus to hit right like 10 10 is still kind of like a 50 50 for most things to hit you you know what i mean right all right gotta be getting close slime patch red rock slime patch red rock oh there we go oh it was it on my stream the other day um i managed to it was like dying to literally every possible thing and so i just decided to salt desert and i could i wasn't even able to like do red rock like it was everything was miserable but i found a kraken <laughs> in the desert and it dropped a gershling corpse i was able to nice com complete the red rock quest from the from following a kraken I that's kind of funny i didn't even know they dropped like random corpses yeah th it's just like a corpse of a random thing you got pretty lucky to find a gershling corpse though <laughs> is it like from the entire pool of like corpse potential or uh uh i think so but i i cannot confirm without digging deep in some code let's uh like i'm wondering like could you uh, like obviously following a kraken is very uh, profitable because you can get that trash but like i'm wondering if you could like get a random like puma corpse benefit oh yeah we are playing on a campfire checkpoint yeah that we did just recently check might as well be safe we are on the way up we finished our quest yep red rock classic this is a very wet red rock it's slimy oh yeah you're still in slime field Ooh. yeah a bunch of trash 
Bunch of trash in a moss tube. I did not find my uh, leather armor, but I wasn't looking too hard for it. I was just kind of in go mode. Yeah. <laughs> we need we need 20 to 30 more different kinds of sp splash sound effects. What, the like six of them that are in there aren't good enough for you? Yeah, that's right. I want like at least another 30 and then just like make uh, the, the most wet sounding game of all time. Ooh, we got Ixer Mop. Is it all Ixer Mosps? Like, I think this is the family of Ixer Mosp. <laughs> Sultan run. At first light, under a marvelous and burgundy sky, the people of Aluva not saw an image on the horizon that looked like one-sided dye bathed in burgundy. It was Ixermath the third and after he came and left aluva not the people built a monument to him and thenceforth called him burgundy one-sided die it's a burgundy nonagon how do you have a one-sided die um you can't well okay actually technically speaking you can functionally uh there there is a very i mean is it just a ball no <laughs> Okay, well, you could do a ball. You could do a ball. That's that works. Um, I was thinking there's like a, a very specially engineered kind of shape that someone designed that no matter where oh, yeah, you yeah, place yeah. it, it always it'll rolls. Just, it'll gotta, roll to its side. You yeah, yeah. got a sparking beetle in Red Rock? Yeah, I think that's pretty common, actually. I've never seen that for... <laughs> What is this thing? Brass fominator. Does it make that foam? And a rock tumbler. I always, yes. uh, can, can you actually use that? Yeah, you can put, uh, gemstones in it and, like, come back if it's powered. That's insane. Can... Like the rough gemstones, you can come back like these? Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> I want to see this. We're seeing this. So if you, yes. But is it uh, powered? Oh, you can't control F in this? I don't know if this one's powered. It's not turning, so like I don't think it's powered because this thing is broken. Uh, what 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 power is that? Contain can't be accessed. Consuming electric charge. It's also consuming electric charge. So it's some kind of power. Strange furniture. Glass furnace. You think that that is powering things or consuming hydraulic power? Yeah. So that is also this consuming thing, power. This thing, yeah, it, it, it uh generated without a power plant. I think. Pretty sure that's a like a rolling chair. Yeah. We'll just uh disassemble the rolling chair. <laughs> No, you can't pick up the the tum rock tumbler, right? I don't think it's gettable. No, uh, but yeah. Are you gonna put the That's rough it. agate in there in spirit? No, because uh, is that really gonna? Well, there's liquid in the way, right? And you... yeah, yeah. So we're, we're less l inclined. How far do you think I need to go before it'll? I feel like now it'll probably go the right way. Yeah. yeah. Five dark guns. Okay. That's not too bad. I'll tell you. Uh, you know the the best sparking beetle I ever got was in Bethesda Susa, and it was basically floors away from the trolls and it asked for throwing axes nice i can't imagine like any other function for throwing axes better than giving it to, giving it to us to the beetle yeah. yeah throwing them at someone oh well, they are pretty good right they're yeah. actually like really good I think unironically they would be a pretty good throwing weapon on this character because high strength and all that are they are they actually capable of dismembering when you throw them i think so i think my only beef with them is that you can't like make them it's like it, it, it feels like i like if it if something is an ammunition then i want to be able to make sustain it yeah so what you really need to do is just get, get in a really long fight with them yeah <laughs> and farm the troll i don't think he makes hand act or i don't think he makes new axes after he throws them all oh he's so. not he doesn't generate more axes no so you can't bait the troll into uh into attacking you no we found out more about Ixermas the second though. After conferring with birds, Ixermas the second convinced them to help her found a college in Arku for the purpose of deciphering the meaning of bones. They named it the College of the Mighty. College of the Mighty. I wonder what meaning they found in the bones. This is a very actually, dense marsh. Yeah. I have a tendency of walking back on foot also after completing this quest. I don't know why. Oh, hey, there's a leather armor. I do want to, at some point, um, do a series where I, I never use the overworld map. Where you never... It's like six days still becomes like a week long to fair. <laughs> um, I guess recoilers are on the table. If you want to go kind of crazy with it, uh, you could do... From my Underdark mod, I have a item in there that I call the Cave Positioning System. Okay. Which uh, allows you to basically put in, like, it'll let you view the map from anywhere, first of all, including underground. Uh, and it lets you, like, put in 
a waypoint or a journal entry, and it'll tell you like how many pair of things north, south, east, west to the is from oh, you. Oh, that's really good. And then uh, the the trick that I challenge you to is to never leave the caves of Cud, except to come out to visit towns. That's... You take burrowing claws with the you can dig up and down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Hold on. Let me. Let me it would just be a fun challenge run, right? Like. Yeah. For my nerd book, so I can write that down. Hold on. Oh, well, let's start at the elder. Well, oh. while you're writing that down, we're gonna turn in the. Uh... Viewers at home are gonna see the script for exactly oh, one shit. nanosecond for my next tutorial. My understanding seems to have taken on new qualities. Oh, it's assistant. That's pretty dope. That's really cool, actually. Name it based on its qualities. Yeah, we are. We playing, need to give it uh, like spazer. Playing with the um, make your own relic mod is for fun for anytime you get a naming you can uh potentially get it uh we got stun rods for days here god chem cells oh we got a tattoo gun already we got a love injector got a skulk injector got our small sphere of negative weight we got a chem cell we got a metal folding chair to set his scrap and then we have a bunch of swords no i don't think we ran into the what the heck is that frowning moon mask filters oh it's just a, okay never mind i haven't seen the mo the frowning moon mask very often i see a lot of they're sun masks. old i think oh it's nice yeah there was one grenade in the pile at least let's see what tam's got if anything oh a painted weird artifact for us to look at ixor missed the fifth Appointed a corrupt administrator as minister of Khalil. He mandated the practice of hoarding amethyst and extremis fifths the name. The name. Oh, hey, chain mail. Oh, heck yeah. We'll take that. We'll probably take your copper and silver nugget too. Thank you. Oh, you got two lover's blossom in that one. I, I like, I find lover's blossom so rarely. Even, wow, and look at all. Okay. I mean, obviously we're bound to find a lot of Drudrit tuber, but still seems like a lot. Yeah, we're pretty rich already. Got a decent amount of money. It's also pretty heavy it's the downside um get rid of have i looked at that already okay some russia floor uh get rid of these that's probably i don't want to keep too much water on me water's heavy beam splitter Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> our guy my buddy my pal you got some stuff today. Let's see. We sell you all this shit. Oh, yeah, you're fine. You could already yeah. do it because you, you've already got like 100 yeah. grams. It'll be a while before we can use that, though. So let's uh, just drop those off because they do weigh a pound. Are we... Do we have a light source? Uh, tattoos. Or uh, torches. Why did I say tattoos? <laughs> I was like, do we have a glowing I just tattoo? read the word tattoo gun while I was scrolling and thinking I should maybe throw that in there. But there's a, you never know when you want to tattoo something. There's a... There's a... There's a mod idea for cud is like uh tattoos that give you kind of relic abilities first step dang what do we got Ooh, yeah legendary snapjaw warrior well it's not even a warrior it's just a scavenger scavenger yeah oh we definitely want to wear that gentling cone right yep that's what we got the second helmet for that was the whole plan for the second head <laughs> just to put a cursed item on it at level 10. <laughs> i kind of love that a cursed item exists in cud and that it's basically a dunce hel helmet i didn't even consider that like the, it's this a is, cone this is what you deserve for wearing this you but it's a cone it's a cone oh there they are well there's one that can't be them right it's not them there's mm -hmm. no way that's them that's just extra lore extra reputation honestly for just dislike i would be tempted to try and turn around my snapjaw repping but i know villagers are very good I always let's feel be honest at some point snapjaws can't kill us and that's pretty soon it might already be now but we could be uh fancy oh. and wear some crocusins <laughs> galen refuses to believe me when i tell him how good crocusins are <laughs> he refuses to he left them he left them in a random town oh yeah in eat freehold so we're just gonna have to drop these for a moment on an exception around expedition around the glass floors district of bimitira ixermis the fifth was captured by bandits he murdered their leader with an iron gauntlet made of diamond and was thenceforth known as mirror caller That's... i don't like how he got that name you don't like how he got that name or you no but i mean it's a cool it's a cool history but like i can't condone of you know murdering random things <laughs> Uh, sorry, I was looking the other way what just happened. You, anyway, just, anyway. you just murdered everything. Uh, while on a trek around the Nomad's district of Shakipur, Ixermis II lost control of her chariot and drove it off a cliff. She was killed at 103 years old. Do you think she comes back from this? We we lose more Ixer masks that way. Do you think she comes back from that one? Can they come back? Yeah, they can come back <laughs> from driving off a cliff. It can it, it can be discovered that they were not 
So, yeah, dude, look at this. It's just Ixer Masp. Yeah, for one through five, it's this. This is the tale of Ixer Masp. That should be the like subtitle to this particular series. Heck yeah. Even though our character's name is not that. I don't remember what our character name is now. We'll have to look at ourselves at one point and be like, it's you. Tirum. Oh, yeah. Tiru M. Tiru M. Wait, why did I? I did want to go down. Yeah, later. Rafa, Rafa, ho go off, Mabu. You get more messed up by plants, like yep. early game plants, than you do Snapjaws. Even when they're surrounding you, do you think that Snapjaws would like do nothing? Uh, we're pretty close to that point. We've got AV6, so we're pretty tanky, especially to a Snapjaw. Picking up arrows. I don't know. <laughs> There's zero weight. I only found out recently that arrows count as short blades. Oh yeah, if you wield them in your hand. Yeah. yeah. So and and uh, well, not very recently, but it's like you know, this is what happens when you jump onto a game, like a, any kind of early access game. Is for me, any new content is recently. Yeah. But like now, <laughs> now there's uh, higher tier arrows, so you could get a crystal arrow and then actually use it as a short blade. But I don't know if it compares with a, a, like a crystal dagger. Okay, we got some skill points. It's time to pick up charge. We've been talking about needing charge. Heck right? yeah. Right. We we gotta have charge at some point in this series charge, charge. at some point we we've got to use hulk honey injector and then charge someone oh ixer mosque the fourth perpetual sprout of succulents husband of karagata the mipper terror the periodic wrath died of natural causes he was 79 years old husband of kagatara we'll learn about kagatara soon i'm sure i <laughs> i don't know admired, admired by, urchins. by urchins but hated Ooh. by smart svardin so i i'm gonna just take that svardin rep thank you yeah that's that's really good uh legendary snapshot scavenger by the way yeah it's the 17 damage one shot him <laughs> yeah no this build is is ridiculous all right turbo mode are you gonna take their sacred grenade oh no their sacred cracked lens and vine wafer yeah oh we found some russia floor sacred you can learn about that one on your own playthrough of code you took their precious snickers bar oh while traveling alone in winter Aramid's district to Tavazar, Ixermas had a dream that she was taking a spiritual trek through the tundra. For the rest of Ixermas's life, she was obsessed with icicles. This is the first, by the way. Oh. That's why we didn't... Ooh, we got another tube. This is a very blessed run right now. I, this is this feels about average to me, honestly. Oh, okay. What? I, uh, I, I, I guess I'm very envious. Well, okay, I... I you of know, taking I, wilderness lore? Uh, all right. That that was because I took wilderness lore, right? Yeah. Like, let's be real. Everything we found in there was because I took wilderness lore. That's fair. Yeah. But like, you know, like I just assume, like I'll take marsh. I, you know, I won't maybe anymore. Yeah. But yeah. I, I would take marsh. We just walked over three more tiles of like uh canyon than we did marsh, though, right? That's true. This is this is when the canyon is the most relevant. This like, is the only time it's relevant. Yeah. It is like really early. So. So that's why I take it really early. Hopefully I don't slip from auto walking near the Oh yeah. Gotta be a little careful. This is a slimy not like rust it would well. really matter. Slimy rust well could mess you up. We could just go over to a not slimy rust well, but I'd rather have slimy rust well than some other things we could have. You gotta you gotta, you know, have a little little bit of spice. This thing's interesting. Nice thing about having a natural weapon is you don't have to worry about it rusting. Yep. I mean, inevitably, I rust some loot while I'm in here, but like, eh. Eh. Wait, was that? No. No, that wasn't bright enough. Gotta learn to spot the bright ones. I'm surprised that um, copper wire doesn't like kind of count in the like artifact pool. So your character like auto picks it up. But I guess then that would like completely. There's a the couple quest. of mods that uh, give you auto pick up copper wire. Um, there's a mod called Cifra that uh, basically adds like a little mastermind style game, which is what Cifra is. It's a um, chaos mod, right? Yeah, that's made by Chaos, who's another one of the devs. And uh, that mod also has a use for wires, so like it kind of makes sense uh, to pick it up more when you're running that mod. But that mod's pretty cool. You can like hack uh, becoming nooks and shit with it. Oh, nice! It's pretty fun. And there's like there's a bunch of chaos mods that are like really fun. I don't know if you've ever played. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Oh, we we going for it? Okay. Dang. Didn't think that was gonna be a flawless victory. I I mean at level eleven, I've start, I've come around to slumberlings are not infallible anymore like they, they they're scary when you're first starting cud but yeah that, and if you need to get away you usually can you've got that dazing ability and they're they're very yep. stun lockable they stun lock themselves <laughs> uh they don't really need any help from my double muscled but i also do have double muscled 
Yeah, this is a new, actually new feature of uh, Cud is that Kudzu now uses the back tile color, the background. Yeah, it uh, always kind of could or did, but it just was a little broken. We finally got it fixed up. Oh no, the carbide dagger. Oh, it's did my broken. carbide dagger rush? Yeah, it rusted. We do have the fix it spray foam, but I don't really think we need the carbide dagger. No. Also, there's no way carbide dagger would be worth the fix it spray foam. I mean, we'll probably have another fix it spray foam by the time we need another one. I'm still, uh, I'm still reeling from the horrible luck I've had in the, the last couple of runs I've done. Yeah, you haven't had characters that can do this lately. I was watching the one with Brian. That one was cracking me up. You just, <laughs> the whole, the whole show, you were just dying. <laughs> Every time I did, I had to like stop for a second and just like uh, re-remember what Brian just said. It was like, I can't believe I just died again. And in, in like a really dumb way too, like, oh, there, there you go. We finally found the random grenade, however. Yeah, it was a cannibal. That I was, yeah, freeze grenade. That's an interesting one. That that one is actually pretty deadly uh, in the right situation, but that was not the right situation for the cannibal, sadly. There's a, something I've been like kind of in doubt about, and I'm wondering, oh, your w random weird artifact, Russ. Um, can you die if I don't you're know. Just too cold? What was that? Can you die if you're too cold? Like, um, like can you freeze to death? Yeah. Like if you know like, you're asking the, me, I really don't know. In the same way that you can melt. Uh, I know there are some objects that convert into other things when they freeze. I really should just stop attacking the kudzu. <laughs> they're worth two XP though. Oh, they're still worth two XP. Never mind. <laughs> We're back on kudzu killing. Okay, hold on. Uh, disassemble. Musket. Disassemble. Free musket. Actually, yeah. I mean, I don't want. Too late. There we'll you grab go. a little extra wire just cause. Well, since uh, kudzu's back on the menu. Yeah. Oh, it rusted our chainmail too. Okay, that's worth a fix of spray foam. Yeah. I'll... <laughs> Why did that not it's find it? Case sensitive, right? Fix I don't it. think it is. But it's spray foam TM. It's covered in sticky goop. How come we're not? Oh, we are wearing. Oh, right. Because I always forget, like, fix it spray foam messes with me because it, it shows what we're wearing in the big old list. Yeah. Everything's rusty. Yeah. I say we just get out of here. Yeah. Got what we came for. Got lost. Oh. Anyway. Uh, That's all right, though. You have, you have marsh and canyon. Yep. I mean, it's, you still get lost. I've been learning to really appreciate that early game precinct navigator. That We regained our bearings. Love, love me that precinct navigator now. Nice. All right. Um, will our grid gate be cursed? That's the question for the next episode. Yeah, right. Uh, for now. Wait. Well, hold on. What are you let's doing? get the let's get the boring stuff out of the way while we're saying goodbye. I'm gonna go do some shopping and identifying of things. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Goody, a box crayon. We'll yes. draw something at the beginning of the next episode. There's at least a, a few people that really want me to do a shotgun run. I have never tried. Can't say if they're good or not. I kind of want to do a, a bow run. Well, that's nice. Yep, some three scrap. Apparently all kudzu, well, oh, you, you disassembled it. Never mind. Uh, Cud bud uh, playthroughs will always have a nano pneumatic jackhammer. Uh, Scope. Oh, that's actually a really nice find. Yeah, but they're three boot now. They're right. three boot. Lol. <laughs> three boot. <laughs> That three bit is surprisingly difficult to come across. The three boot. You can say bye while we're doing this. I no. don't think anyone really cares to watch me uh, sort through inventory. You'd be surprised. All right, this is the super secret post credits inventory section. That's right. I'll put it past the uh, the Patreon subscribers. Only the very astute will know. So only the people that actually watch to the end of my videos will know. Why am I buying this stuff back from him? I don't know. <laughs> That'll be the first question people ask me. Why did you start back? <laughs> uh, All of our bits got. Yeah, but you can still disassemble them. We just get the rust and shit out of our inventory. I'm just glad the tattoo gun didn't rust, honestly. Uh, that's 50. Does he have any? I think we already bought his. Yeah, it's just good enough. Clay oven. I, I guess cook. I did. I didn't do a fake egg so we don't get to it won't be as so much as a secret <laughs> it's just very awkward <laughs> all right well if you are enjoying this series at home then definitely hit the like button consider subscribing for more of this and we'll see you next time that's it